Hello again, this is Suzanne Perry Parrot with Unruly Guides, and this is like the third part for using Gutenberg free ebooks to make your ebook master template that you can use for any of your formatting um, of books. What we did in our previous one was went through and decided what we liked and what we wanted to keep in the ebook. What I found um, was the cover. The copy page actually was the copyright page. It was the preface, um, the table of contents, and the first chapter of the book. So this basically is your template right there. Now most of these other pages we don't want, but the last page I wanted to show you has a transcriber's note and has a gray box, and you may want to find this interesting. Now remember, this is not a template that you're making for your manuscript right now. This is a master template, so you want as many different um, styles and elements in there because once you save it and when you use it for your book you're going to save as whatever the name of your book is like you know a winter's dream and then that way you maintain your master file so I found this interesting so what we're going to do is we're going to rename this page we're going to name it like transcribe or just trans so that I know it and actually maybe add box at the end and this time I did do a hyphen and the reason I use the hyphen is because I know this is not going to be the name of a page that I'm going to use. So it's just something that I liked. So there we go. Um, another page might have poetry. And you uh, would scroll down and you'd find that and you'd label it poetry. And what I did on this was on the third section of this one, I found something that was poetry. So I just don't want the, all the copy above it. So I'll delete the above it and below it. And then that will just leave the poetry information. And then I'm just going to name this like poetry sample or something. And again I'm putting in the hyphen so that I know it's just a sample to show me. Now these other pages I don't need. So any pages you don't want or doesn't have a style that you like, you select it, you right click and you go remove and it will always ask you if that's what you want to do. So go through and delete the pages you do not want right now. Okay, you see we have a nice clean area over here. We really have just the cover and the copy which is basically our manuscript. So I know you're anxious to get to it. Um, the cover will leave as Modern Magic. We had already changed the name. Eventually you will change the name to whatever the name of your image is and then I'll show you how to put the image in. But right now let's get to the copy page. Now again I have things on here I don't want so I'm going to clean those off right now. So now I have my copyright and my preface. So we want to split this file. Now sometimes Sigil is very temperamental and you go to split it and you put your cursor in the correct place and it doesn't split. This is what I do, is I usually highlight what I want on its own page, and then I look at it code view, and it should be highlighted here. And what you want to do is, see this HR means horizontal rule, you want to go to the end of the last paragraph, which is, this is the end of the copyright, put in your cursor and click this thing that is a character or a chapter break, it's, it, break excuse me, it'll split it. So you do that, and you can see I have a new section 0001, this is actually on my preface. So I select that. Remember I showed you how to rename. You right click, go rename. And you want to name it preface. And always make sure that you want to keep that dot. Now notice here that it changed to XHTML. That is the correct way. We'll go through and fix all these HTMLs later. That's because of this code up here. It's an XML file, EPUBs are XHTML. Do not worry about it right now. So now we're going to go down and we're going to scroll to the table of contents and do the same thing. Here's that HR, which is a horizontal rule. The last paragraph will do a character break or a chapter break. And now we have the table of contents. And I always like to name that. Let me go rename. I always name it TOC. So you keep your names very simple. So now we're going to go to the section on your actual manuscript. And then we look for the HR again. It's kind of nice to have those HRs in there. Yours may not have it. End of there, break. Now we have our chapters. Now I'm just going to name this chapter one. Now in the next section, we're going to talk about, oh, I got to go. We'll be back real soon.